Hello everyone, it's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. Uh, if you're new, thank you so much for checking out my videos. And if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping back by and spending some time with me today. Today is Monday, March 8th. And um, I'm just going to get right into the weekend's work. Um, if you're new, I do stitching. Uh, I do some sewing, quilting, bag making, all that sort of stuff. Um, and over the weekend, I started working on this week's stitching um, piece. I, I try to rotate uh, from Saturday evening to Friday evening. I work on one whip a week. And then every third week, I switch to a focus piece. Last week was my focus piece. I'm trying to find the cover page for what I'm working on this week. This week's work is Stitchcraft um, by Stitchy Fish Design. So this is the pattern. And I believe, I didn't take a picture before I, show, I, I started stitching on Saturday evening, but I believe I had the right, the right arm stitched, the outline to probably right about here, her silhouette outline done, and then fill in her, this sleeve in hand, um, this hand and her hat, maybe some of her head, but I'm not sure. Um, but everything else was just the outline. This is how much I got done on Sunday night and Saturday night. So I got quite a bit of fill in work done. Um, so tonight I'll just fill in, go down as far as I can here. And then before I move the Q snaps around, um, I'm probably just going to start stitching from the word craft because I, I counted last night and I don't have enough room to do the entire word stitch. Um, uh, the Q snap is it, it's too, it's up too high. So from craft down, I'll, I'll probably start working on that word. These three blocks, maybe the outline. Uh, I don't, I don't know that I've got enough room there. Um, and then her little, um, dream catcher I guess uh, or maybe no I mean if she's stitching that's got to be a hoop with the skull in it right and the stuff hanging down is got to be extra fabric yeah that has to be it this whole time I thought it was a dream catcher till right now when I was talking to you so anyway that's the plan for this week is just to fill in the area um, before I move the snaps, uh, either way and either go up top and start working on the words and then the frame or finish up the bottom. I don't know. I don't know which direction I'm going to go. I'm just going to work in the area I have right now. So that's this week's plan. Um, as far as sewing goes, if you watched last week's video, I was working on this quilt block right here, which is called shoot for the stars. And I had the yellow and the blue squares done, but not sewn together. Uh, and so the plan over the weekend was to finish that. And um, I did. I was trying to figure out the right way to hold it up. So that's a little, this little block. And this was, um, I love this. I, I just love, this is from the, I showed the quilt. This is the 2020 Quiet Play Pattern Club. Um, and I'm still, I'm working on the 2021 club, but need to catch up on the 2020 club. So I'm just working on that as I can, trying to finish up some blocks. I've got 15 completed blocks and I have nine left to go. So yeah, if I could get a couple blocks done every month, that'd be great. If I can get more than two blocks done a month, that would be better. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I'm working on and um, got that block finished worked on it Saturday afternoon and it, it took time that one for some reason just took me a lot of time and finished it up on Sunday and that's it that's all I I did this weekend um, so I I don't have any mail that came in or anything like that. So um, tonight I'll just be stitching on my stitch craft piece and we'll see how far I got on that. Um, hopefully I'll have some time to check in tomorrow um, before I, I start working for the day. Um, 
So yeah, I'll check in with you then. Oh, and I should say, Cooper and Whiskey are in my lap, and I didn't show them last week. Um, they're looking a little ragged because they, they definitely need bath time, but uh, Cooper's looking out the window. Um, but yeah, this is especially for Donna because I know Donna likes to see the dogs, and I know some of you do. And last week, they were in timeout when I recorded, so um, and because I only recorded the one day. So there they are in case I don't have an opportunity to record with them later. Um, all right, I'll check in with you tomorrow. See you then. Hello everyone. Today is Thursday, March 11th and um, I was pretty busy this week uh, and just didn't have time to keep up on my daily videos. That's pretty common if you're new. Um, recently, I've just like, I can usually get in a recording on Monday, but then like Tuesdays and Wednesdays are, are really kind of busy for me and I end up not being able to do daily videos on those days. Uh, so let me show you where I am with um, Stitchcraft. So this is it, this is all I've gotten done. I did really well getting her down to about here and then just the last two nights, the only time I've had for stitching is just to bring her dress down to about there and then add in the hoop and fabric. Um, <clears throat> so tonight I'm gonna be starting on the little quilt blocks to the side of her. And uh, I'll, I'll start working on those. That'll be my focus the next, tonight and tomorrow night is just to try to get some of these little quilt blocks done. Uh, I will be moving her to um, a scroll frame because I don't, the, her fabric has been bunched up in here for years. Uh, I'm hoping I can actually get these wrinkles out. Uh, <clears throat> I always loosen the tension just by like, pulling just you know rolling in my things so she hasn't had tension on her like that for two years but I'm just ready to iron these out and then get her on some scroll rods so I've got a little more leeway to just roll up or down easily um, <clears throat> so yeah oops that's noisy um, that's all I have to share you with you as far as the progress I did get some mail in this week nothing big um, I'd received my Today's Quilter magazine, my last issue, like last week, for what issue was this? This is issue uh, 70. Uh, this is December, I think. I just received this like last week. Um, there was nothing really memorable in this one, but I'll show you the summary page. I'm only showing you because I got the next issue, the January issue, uh, yesterday. But these were the quilts in the December issue. Oh, I did like this one. I did like that quilt. Um, and the next block for their new block of the month. Maybe this wasn't December. Maybe this was January. Although it says 2020 on it. So, And then there's like a little book here. Booklet that you can do for greeting cards or something like that. I, I'm not exactly sure how that went. That was an odd one. Um, but yeah, those were the projects in this book. Okay. Uh, oh, and they gave us some uh, free Apple Core templates. I have an Apple Core templates. It's probably right in between these two sizes, and I've made um, I I made a set of table mats with those, and I, I sewed them not by hand by but by machine. And boy, howdy, those were interesting to sew. A little too small so I will never ever do the small one um, I might in the future do the big one but sewing those little curves was just that was challenging okay so the next issue I got was issue 71 just got this yesterday I think I mentioned that already oh the the 2020 oh, this is 2021 printed in the UK so I don't I know that's this one wasn't December because I got the December one. I don't I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyway, this was the issue. I thought that was kind of a pretty quilt. Uh, and the one thing I thought was super cute that I wanted to share was this little quilt here. It's like a teapot quilt. See all the little teapots? Or maybe teacups? No, there's a teapot. Yeah, teapots. I thought that was super cute. I love that. So, oops, <laughs> nicely done. Um, other projects within the book or the magazine. 
just in case anybody wants to see them and wonder, hmm, do I want that one? And then this one came with a, the bumper book of templates for doing applique and embroidery. So on the back were some designs if you wanna, you know, quotes. And then this whole book is filled with tons of different uh, designs for different seasons throughout the year to do with applique. I might, I'm saving this, obviously. I save all of the things, but that may come in handy if I wanted to design my own little applique quilt or whatever. I thought that was super cute and really nifty to come with the magazine. Um, so now, that's it. Um, today was kind of a catch up on sewing, finish up my work sewing day, and I will probably start, what is it, three o'clock already. Uh, I may start working on my sewing for tomorrow. I'm going to be starting to work on the Quiet Play 2021 pattern for March. Um, I think I showed it earlier. If I didn't show it on Monday, then uh, I think I did, but it was the flying geese in a circle. So I think it was called flight is the block. So I'll be working, I'll be starting that today, at least prepping for it and working on that tomorrow on Friday. Okay, so I'll check in with you tomorrow. We'll see how much stitching I get done tonight. See you then. Hello everyone. Today is Friday, March 12th, and I didn't get much done yesterday. I did take the time to put this on my roller frame. Um, I had a eight extra 18 inch rod some laying around some it took me a while to find it um, but I was able to easily press everything out this was Joblin so I just sprayed it down with some water and pressed it out and and it was it was fine um, I didn't get much stitching done uh, just the little I start here I think I started stitching around eight and we went to bed around like nine and, and that's early for us that's like three hours early but we were both tired so um uh that's it that's all the stitching so i hope to finish at least this block tonight um that little thing and um i'm happy with the progress i've made this week uh, i'm not so and i'm kind of over stitching on this one already i don't know why but um uh i i'm ready to kind of move on to the next the next project um so yeah, see if I can finish that one little block on it and, um, and, and be done with stitching on that for this week. Um, I was looking to see, did I get mail yesterday? No mail yesterday, so that's it for today. I'll show you my finish on that tomorrow and hopefully, um, this, is, this is as far as I got on working on my block. This block right here. I got fabrics cut and, and all my other, Oh, you saw that all fall down. All my other fabrics and paper pieces cut out. I had everything laid out nicely for the video I was going to start doing, and I just dropped it. I knew that was going to happen, and I did it anyway. Anyway, I'm going to pick that up now and get started on my sewing. All right, I'll check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, everyone. It's Saturday, March 13th. Um, let me show you my stopping point on uh, Stitchcraft. So I did get this little um, motif finished and started on the next one. And then the mister and I decided to have a, a drink and watch some TV. And so I just put this away. Um, I'm super happy with where I got getting most of her, her finished. Um, yeah, after not working on her for so long, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with this progress. So uh, this is what I'll be working on the next time I pick this up, I'll be trying to finish the bottom of her, um, finishing these three motifs, starting the frame, and then the words. I don't know if I can do that all in one more week's worth of stitching, probably if I had a bunch of stitching time in that week, but um, yeah, I'm just plugging along on my whip. So I actually took her, after I put her on the roller frame, I decided to take her off uh, because I know that I have a lot more whips coming up uh, before I get to her again and I'll be needing that frame. So I just decided I'm gonna take her off, off and fold her up. Oh, and I did, I forgot to mention that this amazing needle minder was a gift from uh, Amy of Down Sunshine Lane. She said that this reminded me of her, reminded her of me uh, a while back. So it's Ariel, but you know, like, 
Ariel with the skull. Uh, and so I love that needle minder. And so it stays, it stays with my stitch craft piece. Um, so yeah, I don't know if Amy still has that for sale on her website or not, but that was a gift from Amy. Uh, okay, so I'm putting this stitching away till it comes back up in rotation, which will be a while, um, like another 20 weeks or so, uh, given my new uh, rotation, but we'll see. Could even be longer than that. All right, yesterday I actually did get this, my Quiet Play block sewn. So this was the block I was working on right here. And this is what it looks like finished. And I even got the whole video recorded uh, around it. Um, uh, uh, my, I was doing a foundation paper piece video along with this and that always takes a bunch of extra time, but yeah, I got this finished and I think it's beautiful. I love it. Um, let's see. Oh, mail. Uh, I got some mail in yesterday. I got my shine on block, shine on sampler, um, block of the month. And this is month five. So these are all the fabrics and these are the blocks I'll be working on a double star block, the dream block, and then these little eight point star blocks, uh, that kind of went out of focus, but I will, this will be next week's, uh, sewing work I'll be doing. Uh, as far as stitching goes for next week, I'm going to be picking up my second oldest whip. My first oldest whip is Ava, my focus piece. Um, I started her in August of 2014. This whip I started in April. I think it was April. No, it wasn't. It was September of 2017. I don't know why I was thinking April. But it's my Halloween Quaker. From Lila Studio. All right, so I only worked on this for maybe two days, uh, and it had to be two days because I know I had to rip out a bunch of stitches and start over. And this is it. This is where I am. That's it. That's all I did. That oops. That's all I started in September of 2017. Now, since today's March 13th, that makes today. Um, uh, dark October stitch. No, it's not dark October stitching. It's dark 13 stitching. Uh, and normally I would pull out my All Souls Veer Landon for that. But since this piece qualifies and I desperately need to get going on this whip. I mean, it's like I just, I started it for one or two days and then just put it away. And it's been away ever since. I'm using today's stitching for this. So, and this qualifies for dark 13. It all works. And All Souls can wait another month. So that is going to be this upcoming week's uh, work. Stitching is Halloween Quaker. I'm super excited to get back to that. Oh, I should say this fabric, uh, I, it's always in the comments, in the description box, I mean. I always have the information, but I, oops, I typically forget to say it, but this fabric, I love it. This is, um, oh shoot, I got my book out in case I couldn't remember. I think it's Green Poison from x Designs. Um, but let me get my, let me see, my little book with all my tracking, all my tracking stuff. Um, Halloween Quaker started September 27, 2017 on 36 count green poison linen from x Designs. By the way, all my tracking stuff I have um, worksheets for and they're actually customizable. So you can download them and then customize them. Tracking, free tracking worksheets if you're interested. And there's a variety of worksheets. I'll put the link to them uh, in the description box below. They're in Google Docs. And every now and then I get someone asking permission to edit the worksheets. And I never, ever answer those. Because I want, if you're one of those people and you're like, why won't you give me permission? Uh, because I want the main worksheets to always be the same unchanged blank templates for everyone else to customize on their own. So you have to download the worksheets yourself um, or add a copy of them to your own Google Drive and then and then you can do whatever you want with them. But um, yeah, I never give anyone access to the main worksheets and I get requests every now and then asking for permission to do that. 
No. The answer is no. Leave it blank for everyone else and then you can change it your own way. Okay. Um, so that's it for all of my work. That just leaves us with um, giveaways. Oh, before I get started in the giveaways, I wanted to uh, give an update on reading. I, I love my hobbies very much, but they take up my days. My sewing takes up my daytime work. Uh, pretty much from after breakfast until six o'clock in the evening, whether it's work sewing, my work days are nine to six with a half hour lunch. And then my um, play sewing, it's not really play sewing, but my hobby sewing are Fridays, Thursdays and Fridays. And they're typically like 10 to, you know, whenever I go make dinner, sometimes at six, sometimes at 530. And then in my evenings, my evenings are stitching. But my other hobby that I love is reading. And when I start reading books, then typically stitching takes a back seat for a while. Um, because when I read books, I tend to go in chunks of, of weeks and months, like just in a reading frenzy. Uh, and then stitching just gets put by the wayside. So one of you, I can't remember who, recommended the Mercy Thompson series. Um, and so I decided, I decided to try an audiobook. I don't like audiobooks uh, because I cannot get into the world of that book enough. When I read, like I become fully immersed in that world. I'm the character. The character's me. I'm part of the world. Audiobooks, I tend to just get sidetracked. I stop listening. I have to rewind. Um, but I decided to give it a try again because that way I could, I could read I still feel like it's cheating because I'm not spending the time reading I'm just listening to somebody else read it maybe that's my own personal hang-up but it doesn't feel like I'm actually doing the work I'm <laughs> just listening um, but I decided to do that while I'm sewing during the day because I get good like eight and a half hour chunks of time to to listen to books and I started with audiobooks the Mercy Thompson series on February 15th uh, it's by Patricia Briggs, by the way. Uh, February 15th, finished 12 books in the series on March 11th. Uh, so that was like 25 days of listening to 12 books. And I love the series. Loved it so much. Uh, I have to say, it took me a while to get used to the audiobook. The first book, I cannot tell you how many times I had to stop and rewind because I realized I wasn't I wasn't listening. I got distracted and I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but then after a while, I started to be able to focus my mind better. I still, like, I, I typically picture the characters in myself and can visualize them um, and their voices. I hear them in my head. With someone else reading it, I couldn't do that. I still can't visualize what some of the characters look like. They're very vague and shadowy in my mind, and I don't like that part of audiobooks. But other than that, I, I really started kind of getting into the audiobook group, and I am just cruising through the books. Um, so uh, as far as my reading hobby goes, I'm really enjoying that, the time, just listening to that. And I, I joined Audible. I got two free book credits. Um... Uh, I actually joined Audible because ne neither of the libraries I, I am joined with had the Mercy Thompson number eight or number nine uh, in their libraries. So I thought, okay, I'll join Audible and use my two credits for those books. Um, and then it turned out that like, I think book eight was already part of Audible's li free library for us. And so I only had to use one credit for book nine. And the second credit I used for Stephen King's new audiobook later, um, and so anyway, I just, I'm having fun with that. And so I wanted to thank the person who recommended the Mercy Thompson series. Um, and the many of you who have suggested that I do read audiobooks when I was reading before and telling you I didn't have time, um, because of your comments, I decided to give it another try. It's not the same experience reading for me. It's just not the same, but I'm also able to get some books, um, I feel like I have to air quote read because I'm not reading it, but get through some books. Um, and I, yeah, meet my reading goal for the year. I set my reading goal for 45 books and I may up that. I don't know. Um, okay. I went on long enough about reading. 
All right, so let's do giveaways. The last week, the giveaways were for these two March Flip It's. So there's gonna be two giveaway winners. Uh, the word I, I asked you to put in your comment was the word gold. So I have that set up already. So we're going to get YouTube comments. There were 35 and we're gonna see who the first winner is. Cassie Jo Stitches, congratulations Cassie. Um, I know your mom just won one a couple weeks ago. Not obviously this, but that's exciting. So congratulations. Um, send me your email. I don't think I have your email. Uh, and I don't think I have your address. Even though you sent me a Christmas card, I forgot to save the envelope and write down your address. I was looking for it the other day and I couldn't find it. And I felt really awful about that. So I'm really sorry. Um, so christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com with your address and I'll pop that in the mail to you. Okay, so let's pick another winner. Oh, I tapped the button that said pick another winner. M. Ann. Okay, congratulations. Um, you won also. So if you will also send me your address to christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com, I will get your chart out to you. So one for Cassidy Joe, one for M. Ann. I don't know what your first name is. Um, I pro I feel like I should. I want to say Marianne, but I'm probably wrong. Margaret? I don't know. But you will let me know in your email if I got it right or completely wrong. Okay. Um, this week's chart. I, I dove back into the Lori B box. And this chart is so super cute. This is also from the Cricut collection. The Cross-Eyed Cricut. The Cricut collection. And this is called Cottage Welcome. And I thought it was perfect for spring, uh, springtime coming up. It's so sweet. I just love it. And I know many of us are ready for spring, right? We had some 80 degree days last week, like mid to high 70s, 80 degree days. And while I love them, I also looked at the mister and went, it is, I'm not ready for summer. Like I, I, I don't, I don't want it. Cause typically that's what happens around here. If we get really warm days, earlier in the year, then that means summer comes early. Um, and that just means hot days early. And then it cooled down again this week. I don't know what the forecast is, but like while I'm happy for spring, spring for most people is everything's thawing out. You get pretty little flowers. For us, it's like boom, summer's right around the corner. Um, that's what spring means here. So I'm not not quite ready. Uh, like I'm not complaining about the 70 degree days, but I'm not ready for the 100 degree days yet. 115 degree days. Like, let me have some of these 70 degree days for a couple months. It doesn't work that way around here. It's just like, hi, we're in the 40s. Oh, hello, 70s. Hi, 110. That's kind of how it works. All right, I'm gonna stop whining about that while many of you were snowed in. Okay, so the key word for this is just gonna be welcome. Um, however you wanna work that into your your comment just the word welcome do you have a welcome mat i do but it's worn out i need to get another one and i'm always love the sarcastic welcome mats um but nobody ever comes to my house i mean like uh, and i'm not complaining about that either because i kind of like that normally when the doorbell rings it's like we look at each other and go do you have a package coming <laughs> that's what happens at our house when the doorbell rings do, were you expecting a package today? Like, be, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, we're kind of home buddies and we're like, like just in our own little world home buddies and I'm okay with that. All right, I'm just jabbering now. I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you are having a great day. Stitch all the things and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>